Hey guys. All right. Well, we're at another sandy dump site. Uh, this one's off of Interstate 91. Uh, nice little place. It's got some picnic tables, charcoal grills. I see the sign right there for 91. Um, I don't expect there to be a lot of people here, so I'm flushing my tanks real good, taking my time before I get back on the road. But let me show you what I got going on inside. All right, my archery target there, kind of in the way, but that's okay. We're only stopping here long enough to get something in the crock pot, dump my tanks. <sighs> got the uh, fantastic fan running. And right now, Solar's bringing in about 13 amps, 14 amps. Batteries still look good, so we're going to cook some dinner while we're driving. I'm going to try something new today. Um, we're going to try to cook frozen miniature meatballs and frozen miniature raviolis right in the crock pot without boiling them. I'm gonna cook it right in the sauce. I've never tried this before, so this will be an interesting experiment. All right, so what we have here are some turkey meatballs. See, they're fully cooked, so I don't have to worry about it. And some small little UFO style uh, bite-sized cheese ravioli. So what we're gonna do is just throw it all together, let it cook for about four hours on high, and see what it comes out like. All right, so all I did was throw in the meatballs the ravioli, I mixed them so they're, you know, blended in together. And then we're just going to put some regular cheapo pasta sauce right on top. Maybe a little garlic, some seasoning. Close it up and let it go. All right, so what I did was just put the sauce right over the top. I did add about a quarter cup of water, maybe a little less than a quarter cup of water, just to add some extra moisture for the raviolis because they're going to swell up a little bit. Now we'll put the lid on. We'll strap it down with the, the little bungee cord there. And then we're going to set it in the sink and get back on the road. All right, guys. Well, the next time you see this, it'll be about four hours from now, and I should be at my destination. Now, let's check on that, how the solar's doing. You'll see there, pulling in about 15.4 amps, which is more than enough I think we'll be fine. Plus, you know, when you're driving, you're charging the batteries as well. So I should be able to continuously cook and drive and not have to worry about it. All right, guys. Well, I'll show you when it's done. All right. So we've been driving and the uh, crock pot stayed in the sink the whole time. It is now 5.04. Um, let me show you the site real quick. So you guys can see, I'm no longer, so just got in, just setting up a little bit. Okay, we're in a state forest. But I wanted to show you the ravioli. Now, I haven't stirred it, tasted it, or done anything with it. Um, it is on low. I did move it to low. You can see my shadow. There we go, we'll add a little light. Let's see how it looks. Wow, the raviolis look awesome. Well, let's dish a little bit out here. Meatballs, ravioli. Trying to do this while looking through the lens. So I'm just going to break it up a little bit. The ravioli's probably got a little soft. Probably cooked it. Probably could have done it on low. Awesome. Let's try it. Alright guys, check this out. Try a meatball. Not bad, a little soft. 
crushed red pepper was a good touch. I'm trying that one. Ooh, that's hot. Raviolis, I gotta say. Where's the camera here? Raviolis stayed together really well. Hmm. You know something? Granted, it's jarred sauce. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and make a big pot of spaghetti sauce in the RV. But it's having a meal like this. You know, in nothing. I mean, would it take to set it up? Throw some frozen ravioli in the crock pot. Jar sauce, a little bit of water, some seasoning, a little crushed red pepper. Some frozen meatballs, granted, eh, probably not the best choice of meatballs, but you could always make meatballs at home. You know, just make sure they're small like that. Freeze them, and then bring them in the camper. And then just put them in your crock pot, and then while you're driving, you know, if you, especially if you're driving like I did, you know, it's been over four hours. Hmm. I get to location. Now, I'm boondocking. There's no power or anything here. Um, and my batteries are still fully charged because as you're driving, you're also charging your batteries, which is awesome. And the solar is charging as well. Mm -hmm. I was starving. You know something? I think I'll have a glass of red wine. Eat my dinner, watch a little TV. And, uh, oh, maybe I'll be online tonight. Who knows? All right, guys, quick and easy meal done in a small little crock pot driving down the road. Pretty cool in my book. All right, guys, talk to you soon.